it's Tanya from Letty Treasures. So today, I'm just getting comfortable in my squeaky chair. Um, today it is week seven of the three and fifteen challenge. So today I'm going to attempt to do episode one, two, and three uh, all in one video. A couple of reasons. Uh, the third episode, I've already done them. I did them in the episode. Uh, I will perhaps make a, a, a big tag for it, but <clears throat> they're done. So, and I haven't got a lot of time this this week. Um, well, I'll talk my craft. So, um, we've got these tall pockets. Um, and then they've got the, the three pockets in them. So they all want three cards and then one behind. So all I've done is printed off some of um, Lorna at TaylorMade Journals music paper. And I'm just going to make all the small cards with this. Um, and then obviously they're nice and plain and then they'll be a lot easier to to decorate and obviously we've already got nice pockets and that was the one that um well it's not fully decorated but i'd started decorating so i think they only need plain um tags so <coughs> the pocket is around a credit card size so i'm just going to take my measurements from that um I'm a bit cramped for space because I've obviously got all my um, autumn things on one side and I've got my cutter on the other side. So all I'm going to do is, let me just move my coffee a bit more over there. I'm just going to start off by <coughs> trimming all the edges of this um, printout because um, I just cannot get my printer to print all the rest. And then I shall measure the credit card and <clears throat> I'll just cut, cut it down accordingly. I'll do this other one. And then for the big tags, you might be able to see I've printed two pieces of the wallpaper kit out. And um, somebody did say the one that I really like, that one, is... Uh, I think they said it was a William Morris and they do it in a fabric. So if I ever see any of that, I should be having some. So I might as well take that. And then that one, it really reminds me of Edith Gordon because it's, it's got the, um, gosh, fox glove. Yeah, I'm a bit puzzled today. Um... I had to work, it's now Sunday, I'm filming this on a Sunday, whereas I do normally film it on a Saturday. Um, but where I work, it was the mid-season sale yesterday, so I had to do um, an extra day. And I have already done <coughs> extra hours, I hadn't done an extra day, it was just, you know, an extra one, two hours on both of my other shifts. Um... So I've ended up doing a lot more hours than, than my mind and body is, um, is accustomed to. So I'm a bit upside down and inside out. So that's all those cut out. I'll just put those ones to the side a minute. Um, what have I done with the actual pockets? Uh -huh, because I can see them. Right, so width wise it is, I'm going to say it's three and a half inches, so let me cut some strips down of three and a half and we'll see how we go with those. Oh, I don't, wish I'd have took that um, white off, well not white but the edge. So that's three and a half, and that's three and a half. 
think I'm going to save that for something else because I will have enough with, with these. So let me get that edge off because with them not being very big tacks, having that big um, space of nothingness is a little bit boring. Right, so three and a half. Half. And then I think that one's too small, so I'll put that over there. Right, so that's his width, um, and then height wise, they are two and a bit. So let me see if there's any wiggle room on that. Yes, so I'm gonna do them at two and a half. Let's try. Um, two and a half. So, that's one. So, I'll fix that one. Oh, that just just wants a little bit taken off that. So two and a half. Oh, so one strip will do one set of pockets. So that's one set. Oh, I'll just have, have enough then. Um, so, right, I'm just going to pause this while I'll just cut them all down because if I'm doing... Um, all three videos in one. I don't want it to be forever, so I'll see you in a tick. Okay, I'm back. So I've cut them all out, I've inked around them, and I've inked all around the tabs as well, and then it'll it will save you getting really fed up. Um so they're gonna go in that way. Yeah, I watch them all not fit now. Oh dear, I'm not even joking. Mm. <laughs> oh no. Yeah, they they're slightly too big. Oh, I don't believe that. Oh, that one fits. I'm just bring it to my face a minute. I'm wondering if there's just a little bit of glue further down that's stopping it. But I do think that one is a fraction too big. Yeah, that I was dreading this week because I thought, <clears throat> you know, all the pockets are going to have a little bit of difference in, in size. Right, that's that one. Does that one go in? Right, <clears throat> that one just wants a little bit. I think that'll be yes. Oof. Right, so I'll probably probably have to just cut a little bit off of all of them. So let's do those in in order. I'm not going to round the corners of them because I thought by the time these are on, um, it's. It's near enough to the top anyway. So, yeah, let me tell you about my week. So, I worked as normal uh, Wednesday. But, um, you know, we was very busy getting prepared for the sale. Um, and then I worked Friday. So, they're my normal days, Wednesday and Thursday. But I think I did two extra hours Wednesday and then um, one or two extra on Friday and then I didn't get home till 8 o'clock Friday night and um, then I had to be back at work at 2 o'clock on the Saturday so for me <coughs> that's quite a of a fast turn turnaround um and i did change all my days 
so I, I always had like two, at least two days off in between um, a shift because, it, well, I, I just energy was, I just couldn't, couldn't do it. So, yeah, um, obviously the week before I'd not been very well because it was my third week back at work and I think it all just caught up with me. So that was a pretty tough, tough week. And then, um, you know, with it being the sale, you can kind of feel the the stress and obviously everybody's, you know, running about and, and stuff. So that in itself is exhausting. Um, and then with that extra, extra hours and extra day, so on the actual Saturday yesterday, um, we normally have to wear a visor anyway. So it's like a plastic face shield, um, which aren't attractive. <laughs> but kind of got used to them now. And to be honest, when somebody else has got one on, you don't you don't really notice that. Um, so yeah, I've got used to that. So that'll be, oh, I like them. I'm glad I went with those uh, tabs. So the tabs are just the plain paper, uh, the parts of the plain paper from the Edith Holden book. You know, I might just end up um, doing the corners on these but I'll do it after the video because I do think it will just make it easier for them to to go in in and out that does seem to to make it easier I don't know I don't know why but it seems to fit better so yeah like that so you could put um a grommet in and have something hanging off it and stuff which might do that when we come to decorate them right make sure these are all the right way round and let's <laughs> see if these fit or not in here is this one upside down yes so that one fits fine in there oh it was lulling me into uh, false sense of security then I thought yeah these are all going to fit now it must have just been that first one <laughs> right just take a bit off, off this one so yeah we had to wear the, the visor and we had to wear um, a face mask so oh, yeah that in itself wasn't great. Right, that one fits in there. So it ended up being quite a warm day anyway. Um because we still keep having quite nice um and quite hot days even though you know we're starting to go into autumn. Um so yeah it was a warm day then obviously it was a sale and um Really sorry about this. So, yeah, that's better. Um, so you must remember to put the tabs on that side. And um, we'd got these special t-shirts, what they'd had made with you know, stay apart and all the rest of it, which was made of a really thick material. Um, oh, and it was awful. Uh, and so I was working on tr the children's department and they'd done the store that um, you could only go, because I work in a, a store what, um, as a women's, men's, children's and a home department. It's quite a big a big store where I work. So that's that one. Put that one straight in and then and I won't forget which is which. Um, 
so yeah they they kind of like barricaded it off and it was all one way and um so i was at like the barricade for the children's department and i could only allow 25 people at, at a time to come in so i had to count them in and then there was somebody on the exit of that department counting them out and radioing um through to you know to let me know that so many people had left um and yeah it, it was just chaos really um majority of customers was was lovely you know everybody was confused um everyone's frustrated because they've had to queue to get in the shop to start with and then they've had to queue to get in the certain departments they, they want to and you know because it's a sale they obviously want to go in all the departments um and if you went a certain way then you ended up having to go like back outside re-queue up to come back in so yeah um everybody was at boiling point so it was very stressful um so that's that one and yeah <laughs> just standing there um you know and feeling everybody's eyes on you waiting uh, <laughs> for you to let them in um <clears throat> it was too much to bear at, at, at times oh, it was quite cringy so yeah I, I didn't enjoy it um and then where i kind of stood so you know to block anybody coming in uh, a couple of feet away from me was another little barricade which you would normally go through children's into the women's department and that had got some kind of temporary barricade on but people could actually get through it so um yeah i was i felt like a goalkeeper by the end of my shift because you know i was having to like dart in front of people to stop them coming in and dart in front of people to stop them um going from one department to the to the next um so yeah but it went very fast um <laughs> yeah it did go very fast i didn't really get shouted at but um yeah there was a few tense um, moments. So, I don't want to um, people for a few days now. I need to stay away from people. And so you end up just thinking, you know, a lot of people are so, so rude. Um. And you know, it's always, I felt awful a couple of times. There was an old lady with a walking stick and she'd come in and she was trying to go back out the way she'd come and I felt terrible telling her that she'd got to go all the way back. And she was so polite and, you know, she was hobbling and you just think, you know, and then other people are wanting to have an argument about it and you just think, just just do it and you know and take two minutes of your life just do it instead of you know getting yourself et up and angry about something that you know nobody's got no control over and <clears throat> you know the times i have to say you know this is for all our health and, and safety um and you know rules are rules and i didn't make these rules um, but, you know, we've all got to abide by them. And, you know, I mean, I obviously didn't say this, but I wanted to say, you know, you've chose to come out. Um, you know, you know that how the situation is. You know that it's going to be busy. You know that it's going to be stressful. Why come? Um, you know, 
I wouldn't have, have chosen to go. Um, if I had a choice, I'd have stayed, stayed well away. And at principle, I didn't even buy anything. So, <laughs> that's me. So, yeah, I feel a little bit like... Um, oh, I've already got cards in there. I feel a little bit like a, a wrung-out dishcloth <laughs> today. So, and my <laughs> legs are throbbing. Um, and I walked... I mean, I only live... Well, I mean, my walking, it's about 15 minutes. Uh, and it is uphill on the way home. But um, I did walk back because the car parks down there at the weekend are atrocious anyway. Um, and when Ryan used to pick me up sometimes, you know, I just couldn't see him in the car park. And so it's just like I'll walk home, it's a lot easier. But, um, oh, my legs were so so sore and it felt as if my kneecaps was gonna explode so I came in and had something to eat and, and went to bed so and my plan today was I'm gonna sleep I'm gonna stay in bed but um, I didn't but I think I'll be having a snooze and having an early night as well uh, that must be a <coughs> different size tab so I'll just cut that around to to match it um, so that's that one right I'll pause and do the last one and then we'll finish off and do the big tag see you in a sec okay I'm back so all those are done I was just thinking um I printed this music digital on a manila colored card <clears throat> and just look at the color of it it's amazing it looks like you know really old vintage music paper um from a book yeah it's it's come out really really nice and it's very very similar tone to to the Edith Alden it's not far off as well um and it inks lovely so that was my thought so they're then done um I've got these two A4s. I'm thinking I'm just going to fold them in half and cut them down. And then we'll cut what we need after. But um, I want to get them in half so I get uh, two, two out of each sheet. So that's that one. fold it because I just I just can't do measuring today oh dear can't even find the, the half right I think that's it okay okay so I'm gonna obviously use that one with, with this one oh that's about right size anyway so if you think that this glue is going to be at the top and at the bottom, kind of want it there. So let's do them at that, which is... Where's my mark there? 8 inch. So if I cut them all down to, to 8 inch, that'll be fine. And I'll save those for something, something else. So yeah, apart from all that, I am fine. Um, yeah, just, just tired, sore and a bit fed up. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, I mean obviously I don't take it personally. But, um, yeah, it, it's not nice to be to be in those situations um i'm not good with with rude people it, it makes me feel very uncomfortable um <clears throat> and if i hadn't have been at work you know I, there's no way i'd have stood and listened to them i'd have i'd have just walked off um but you know you have to 
keep your cool and, and stand there and it's it's not great um had a few um people say oh we work in retail you know we we feel for you and it's like thank you thank you thank you for recognizing it it's not easy um so hopefully by the time i go back wednesday um it it'll be all done over with and, and back to normal and i've not got i've still got two days next week but um my wednesday is a really small shift and um, my friday one's a normal one so um hopefully you know i'll be able to get get recovered and and stuff which is why i want to do um this video all in one as well because um So there's things I need to get, get caught up with and, and stuff. So what else can we talk about? Oh, so I showed you the, the envelope uh, journals, what I've done so far. So I've been doing the two in the full folio kit from College Type, which that's the reds and, and the oranges and, and stuff. And um, I've finished them both off to... Um, the same kind of part where they literally are just waiting for everything to be sewn and some pages put in and, and those sewn in and they're then finished and so I've put those to one side for a little bit and I've started working on two more envelope folios with the Tracy Fox kit, the past autumn and um, the kit from It's So Bohemian because I was mixing those two together. So I'm going, I've got one to the part point where it just wants sewing and the pages put in. So I'm going, when I get the other one to that, um, then I can spend a day sewing, you know, around all, all four of them. So I would have liked to have been at a point this weekend where um, I'd finished them. But, yeah, so obviously I'm going to be, not behind, um, but, you know, I'd have liked to have got further than than a half. But such is, such is life. So that's going to go there. Um, so that's going to want to tab as, as well. And I might as well use these on. So if they're eight, aren't they? So if I try and middle it at four, is that going to look? No, because if I middle it at four, it can just go like that. Yes, I shall do that. So yeah, I mean I'm enjoying doing doing the fall and after I have completely finished those four, um I'm gonna do a couple of envelope folios with the Shabby Dabby Doo Doo Do <laughs> that come out a bit funny. Uh fall kit and that will then be be the fall things. Um, finished and then obviously let me just say so that's that one uh, put that over there right let's see what so I quite like that with that one because that's quite green yes Oh, it's a choice. Okay. So that one wants being on that side. Um, yeah, and then I can start. Obviously, we, we're doing the uh, Woodland Wonders uh, embellishments and ephemera. So I think I've filmed either 12 or 14 of them. Um, 
but there's a possibility there may be another between six and ten of them because I'm loving it. <laughs> I'm really enjoying it. Um, and I want to do quite a few um, woodland things. I'm thinking, well, the more ephemera and stuff I make, then, um, you know, when I get down to doing the folios or whatever I'm doing with them, may see a sneaky um, file folder in there. Um, yeah, it'll just make it more, more, um, so that's that one. Uh, seamless, it's, uh, it just, you know, hurries, hurries it up. Um, you can just be decorating whatever you're working on and, and then you've got the pieces just to pop in, which is lovely. And especially when you've got a choice of pieces because you know you can match it up match the right piece up with with what you want but um yeah as soon as i have got the fall stuff done i will start working on on some of the woodland stuff so that's that one and the last one i've run out of <coughs> Um, the thing is, trying to use the ones that haven't got anything, oh, that's it, anything on them. So I was thinking if I don't use all the woodland things up, um, I'll just save them till next year because, um, you know, woodlands isn't just for autumn, winter. Um, so, yeah, it'd be nice to have a lot lot of pieces. And obviously I'm going to have all these Edith Holden pieces. And I've got the um, Tim Holtz pieces from the Mass Makes. So I'm quite liking having some pieces. It's the first time I've ever, um, you know, had built a stash up. But I did notice when I did the Tim Holtz folio how much quicker uh, and easier it was because I had all those pieces. So I think that is kind of the way that I'm going to work from, from now on. So that's that one. I am just going to pause again, get us ready for the, for the next one. See in a little while. Now, this is um, the second week and it's got um, the pocket at the top. It's got the pocket there and there and there's a, a bit here and I think there's a bit here. Um, but I'm not going to put anything in, in those two pieces. I'll put things in, um, you know, when I place them somewhere because I would probably just put some you know, butterflies or whatever just sticking, sticking out. So I shall leave those. So this is going to be really straightforward and simple. All I'm going to do is I've got some plain, you know, the manila luggage tags kind of things. I'm going to put those in there because when we decorate them, I would like to stamp those ones. I'm just going to take that... Uh, string out because I shall put something something else there so um because I've seen Dee's put a few plain ones in and to stamp later and I thought oh that's a really good idea and I have got an Edith Hold and stamp set so it'd be nice to to use that I've only used it a few times so that's that and that yeah, can't get it in and I've got my glasses on so I can't um let me just use my bone folder down there there's yeah, something something stopping it from going down I don't know what it was. 
so that's that's the back ones um for these little ones at, at the front um i mean i did manage to to get a little edith Oldham on there but i'm going to take that out and i quite fancied having these tall thin ones in there because I thought if these are stamped and then these have got um, a charm on them and then I'm going to probably put um, one of the months or just a bit of Edith Holden writing on there and then like I say when I do come to decorate them I'll probably just put, put a flower in there so that's going to be that one and like I say this is another reason why I thought I'll do all the videos in one because um, I knew that these ones was was going to be a quick simple simple mate but i do fancy having some little charms on on them so that's that one and one here like so and then i'm hoping that these ones which have been embossed um, will fit in here yeah oh that's brilliant so again I've got got an Edith Oldham on there but I'm going to take that that out I can use them on something else so that's that And it's quite hard to to see once they've all got the ribbons on and what you can pull them in and out with it to make it a lot easier. I've got a spare one and then I'll put that over there. Oh, I nearly had it, that's it. So that's that. Um, what way will I be sticking them on? So I think I'm going to make something for uh, the back to to pull out. Now I'm wondering if these bits will be probably be too too small. That's a shame. Um, I've not actually got anything anything out oh no um let me just reach in get my tell you what i have got i've got that piece of scrapbook paper which really does remind me of edith holden so i don't know if to let me just grab my edith holden box and have a look what um Okay, that's my scraps. They're already backed in card. Right. Oh, sorry. I'm, un I'm unprepared. Oops. Right. Crash bang wallet. So, what have we already got? Cut. That would probably be an ideal size. feel like it does need a bit of, a bit of pizzazz at the back. So, I've got this wallpaper, what's already been um, backed, and I've got this one. Again, these are from, from Lorna at TaylorMade Journals. Um, let me just clear some space on my cutting board. So, these are five and a half. So, if I do them at five and a quarter high, I want to be in about two and three quarters wide. So let's do that first. So uh, two, two and a half, two and three quarters. So that's that. Yep. Let's just see if that's the right kind of. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, that's going to look nice. Let's do, might do all four in, in that because it would be nice to get all the 
the bits already um what i've got prepared you know for other episodes used used up so what did i say height um the five and a half but they're gonna be stuck so about five and a quarter so five and a quarter so about yeah that's perfect um five and a quarter so that's that one I like it with that that edge showing and do this one so yeah this weekend as well my partner's it's his weekend off so we had a, a new bed a few weeks ago and um it's Elmer's turn now so uh, she was still in a cabin bed so like a bed with a wardrobe fitted underneath and a desk and things um, and she was getting a little bit big for it um, seeing that she's nearly 13 so yeah she's had a new bed and wardrobe um, and once he'd emptied all the furniture out he realised when he painted it there was quite a lot that he hadn't painted so he spent all yesterday painting um, and then he's just building building the furniture today but um, I don't think it's gone quite as planned because um, he's gone downstairs and just left it all so the house is in absolute chaos um, there's just stuff everywhere so I'll be glad when it's finished and I'll probably have to spend tomorrow um, you know getting things back into some kind of uh, kind of order because obviously all the clothes are everywhere and shoes and the coats and everything um, And she's been at my mum's this weekend, but she will be back in in a few hours. And I don't think she'll want to clean it out and, and what have you. So that will go there. That's going to need some kind of... Um, tab on it. So I think I'm going to use some of these uh, circles, what I've been cut out, they're just scallop circles. So you can do these with, with a punch if you want. Just give her a little ink. poking out just a little bit just to give um, it a little bit more width that's that right I'm just gonna run run around it with the with the ink so yes I do feel very upside down and topsy-turvy and, and what have you so it'll probably take me all week to, to be normal again so that's that um let's do this one try to do one set it'll be fine that way so i'll have to start a new next week um i think it's the the bag episode next week so that'll be be fun um and i've got like i say all well up to now all the winter wonderlands are already um taped so they'll just come out as normal which will, will mean I don't have to film next week and that so I might not do do a lot of of stuff 
probably won't even carry on with the folios this week. I might just leave them until, until I feel like it. So that's that one. Um, I thought if I, d if I get time, I've got lots of little um, projects that, that I can get on with. Um, I've started making some more notebooks. So I sat before work yesterday and just cut the papers down and then um, stapled them in. They want decorating. I've done some some other um, notepads. So they're just a circle. I'm going to stamp all over them and ink them up. And they want attaching. And then I did some big pads. Um, so yeah, I've got lots of, it's all to go with the, um, the winter woodland theme. And I've got a list of other videos that, that I want to, to film in the series. So I can make, um, you know, the things that, that, that I want to, to do a kind of tutorial on. Because I do like to make so much many up first and then you kind of know what what you're doing so yeah don't think that I won't be doing anything because <laughs> I will I'll be doing something even if it's not not something big I have done all my cutting out so that's good but um that won't last for long there's always something I need to, to print out. Well, I like that part of the, of the paper. That's lovely. Come on, have that one with that one. <laughs> so, last one. Is this the second one? Yeah. Oh, I'm going to need some uh, card for for the other big ones so I think I'd, I'd got that um, piece of lace card so I'll probably do those in, in that so I think we've we've caught up um, speak about work on this new bedroom told you where I am with projects yeah, I think that's, I think that's me. So that's that one. So that's them ones done. Um, and then the last ones was these ones, which I absolutely adore. Obviously, these are pockets. Um, little ones could go in there. Um, no, it wouldn't be that easy, would it? So for now, I'm not gonna put put anything in. Um, Dee did little envelopes in hers, and that was so cute. So I might an, another time because obviously when it comes to the decorating series, I won't have to do that much decorating on these. So I might make something for the top top pocket. So I'm just gonna make some, um, you know. A big big one to, to pop out so oh, I might need those um, so I've got this piece of lace which that would be nice so how big are these eight and a half so if I did them it's eight oh you have to see the side here I've never seen so much stuff on my desk um, right, so eight, eight high. Oh, if I do it at that height then, and then, so I'm going to do it at the same height as, as the A4 so I can get as much out of it as, as I can. So if I do that at four, four and a quarter, that should be okay. Yeah, that'll be fine. So I bet I'll be able to cut two out of this. So 
so that's two. Let's put that with me. Scraps. That's no there near at all. I'm not put them with my scraps. What music did I get back there? It's probably way too too thin. <coughs> got that piece that's already on card so oh what did I say four and a quarter yep so that's that one um I don't think I've got anything else to to hand so I'm just gonna pull a piece of uh, Lana's wallpaper out. And that's a nice one. Can't go with that one. Just gonna cut that to four and a quarter oh, I'm gonna do it that way actually so four and a quarter and then I said about eight didn't I so let's um corners and then I'll only have the two corners to just cut off. Right. Yep. So that's that. I shall trim this. Done it on the 10, 10 mil one. So, oops, sorry. Nice to have a, a nice big um, rounded, rounded edge on the big tags. Gosh, there's going to be some decorating. <laughs> Because obviously I've done done all mine quite quite plain, um, but I wanted to do them plain to make it easier for decorating. But obviously now I'm thinking, oh cracky, <laughs> it's going to be loads of decorating. So I don't know what Dee's doing with that. I don't know if it's still supposed to be a kind of uh, fifteen minute challenge or or what, but. Um, yeah, so it might be just fully decorate uh, one on film. So I'll have to see see how she does that. Because I know she did say um, some of the episodes will be like formatted a little different. So we shall see what she comes up with. I don't think she'd um, sorted it out in her, in her own head kind of thing yet. I think she was going to wait till she filmed those parts and then she'd be able to see, see how it goes. 
I'm just quick, quicking it round. It really does look like a piece of wallpaper, that does. That's that one. I don't think we've done bad. It'll just be about an hour, so I've done nine. Well, no, because I've done four for each one, haven't I? So that's 12. 12 things in an hour. Not bad. Right, I'm going to use these again. Let's give them a bit of a bit of a ink. So yeah, you will be missing two videos this week. Obviously, there won't be one on Wednesday and Friday this week, but um, there'll be one Monday. Tuesday, well, this one Monday. Um, I'm going to have that that way, so you've got those to take out that way and that to take out that way. Um, yeah, so it will be Monday, Tuesday, Thursday and then Saturday, Sunday. So it's still plenty to watch. I think it will give everybody a bit of chance to, to catch up as well. Um, I know from from the comments and that I think a lot of people are probably two two videos behind sort of thing. So uh, it'll give give everyone a chance to to catch up. So that's that one. Well, that's nice. I think I'll do that on there so I hope it hasn't been too much all over the place and I hope I haven't moaned too much but uh, I feel a li little bit better now that I've got that off my chest <laughs> so thank you thank you for listening to me okay, that's that one and the last one, look at this one. Those cuts are lovely from, they're from Stephanie at My Porch Prints. Really, really nice. <laughs> right. Oh, that goes quite nice. That was an accident. I didn't mean to do it. <laughs> it's turned out pretty good. So, oh yes, I know what I want to mention. Um, obviously, uh, you know, we hit 1,000 subscribers, but now we've hit 1,500 subscribers. Oh my goodness me. Um, and it's all happened very fast. Um, and yeah, so a giveaway is in the pipelines. Um I just need some time to catch up. <laughs> I have, um, because we're going to be celebrating two milestones, um, I did want to do a giveaway with um, five or six prizes. Um, so I've got a couple of sets of things uh, put together and... I just need to do a few more things and stuff. So I haven't forgotten. Uh, it, it is happening. Um, just just not, not at this moment in time. So um, very, very soon. Because I obviously, I want to do, you know, a video thanking and um, things like that. So um, as soon as I've got caught up, that will be... Oh, I can't get this needle in. <laughs> That will that will be coming up. So thank you very much for joining me today. Um, it's been a pleasure as always. I've got such a mess to tidy up, so I'm going to tidy up and I might go and have a snooze. So I shall see you very soon. Bye for now. Bye.